Hi my Neurospices, so it's currently early October and that means that sad season is upon us and today I'm doing a video about the best perfumes for seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression. So I'm going to be taking a direct look at the scientific studies behind scents and perfume notes that promote energy, help sleep, help promote positive thoughts and suggesting perfumes that generally help against seasonal affective disorder. So let's get going. Hi, my name is Alexi. I am a bald millennial gay man with a PhD in cultural history that I'm trying to weaponize in the fight for the greater good. I make videos about queerness, perfume and mental health. If you like what I do, please like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay notified about future videos. So what are we talking about when we talk about seasonal affective disorder? So the science behind seasonal affective disorder is not fully understood. It's mostly understood to be a problem with sunlight and that affects your circadian rhythm. So your natural rhythm of waking and sleeping and the energy associated with that. So we're looking for perfume notes that improve energy, sleep and mood. So just as a disclaimer, this is not medical advice. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just a gay man with general anxiety disorder and access to tons of free information, the internet. All of the links to the studies are in the description of this video. So everything I'm showing you here you can find too. So we're going to start with lavender. Lavender is by far one of the most studied perfume notes. Firstly, lavender has been shown by tons of studies to improve sleep quality. So for example, one study found that all participants reported better sleep quality and more daytime vigor after exposure to lavender aroma in sleep. And then this study concluded that lavender essential oil aroma can be used to promote subjective and objective sleep quality in healthy human subjects. So I guess that means that people perceive themselves to have slept better and also objectively they did sleep better. Another article reported that all subjects reported higher vigor the morning after lavender exposure just like the previous one and lavender exposure increased stage two sleep decreased REM sleep and the amount of time to reach wake after first falling asleep. So I guess they slept shorter periods of time. So if you sleep for a really long period of time, this is something worth looking into. But this happened only in women and the opposite was seen in men. Overall, it's a good method for promoting deep sleep in young men and women. Another thing to think about, if you like to pop a melatonin before you go to sleep, melatonin actually gives you more REM sleep, um, which is why you get more vivid dreams. I mean, that's been hypothesized. So in theory, you could help balance this out with more lavender essential oil, which gives you decreased rapid eye movement sleep. That's something to bear in mind that there could be a potential way of counteracting melatonin nightmares if you get those. If you get the melatonin scaries, if you get the melatonin like, you know, I've had those. They're, they're wild. So again, I'm not a scientist, but yeah, something worth looking into. In addition to that, lots of studies have focused on how lavender reduces anxiety because it creates better sleep. Lavender has also been shown to increase the quality of sleep and reduce the level of anxiety in coronary artery disease patients. Lavender improves sleep problems and anxiety for dialysis nurses. It's reduced the anxiety in patients admitted to ICU. Interestingly, citrus also worked here. I'll get to citrus in a bit. So one study compared lavender essential oil exposure to diazepam and found that lavender essential oil reduced number of wake episodes but maintained normal time spent in wake and as a result lavender creates a distinct sleep wake profile and doesn't disturb total time spent in sleep. So if you take diazepam and if you find that your total time spent in sleep or wakefulness is disturbed you could try lavender essential oil. Again I'm not a doctor you should discuss this with your doctor but if you are interested in this and you take diazepam absolutely worth checking this out. The findings suggest beneficial and distinct anxiolytic-like effects of lavender for sleep enhancing purposes. Anxiolytic means anxiety reducing. Among other things though, lavender has also been shown to enhance immune function, which is important with illness at the moment in winter. This study presented evidence that aromatherapy massage could significantly decrease stress and enhance immune function in pregnant women. If you want to help naturally boost your immune system, so lavender has been shown to do that. Another study showed that it intervened with depression in older adults. This was a massage therapy as well. This study concluded that the scores for depressive symptoms in both the experimental groups remained lower at eight weeks, 14 weeks, and 18 weeks follow-ups. So that is quite remarkable that it lowered depressive symptoms over this longer period of time. And then finally, <laughs> one study concluded that lavender decreases crying time, sis, 
in newborn babies. So um, these babies cried less after lavender inhalation. Um, if you struggle with long crying times <laughs> during winter, definitely something to look for. I know I can relate to that. So let's go on to some perfumes. Lavender is a really omni omnipresent kind of classic scent. I don't really like lavender myself. Maybe that's why I'm so mentally ill. The 2016 study mentions that a mixture of lavender and bergamot oil was more effective than lavender alone. So I would say go for fresher fougeres, citrus lavenders, etc. Maybe something like Frenchy Lavande by Guerlain. Love Guerlain. Frenchy Lavande also contains lemon, lemon verbena, and bergamot. Two other really obvious modern lavender fragrances are Gautier's Le Mal or YSL Libre. However, Le Mal and Libre also contain pronounced vanilla notes, um, which, are, as I mentioned in past videos, has a relaxing effect, but also actually gives you longer response times and makes you perceive people as standoffish. Lavender combined with citruses has a better set of beneficial effects. If you want lavender to relax you but also increase your energy, avoid vanilla and stick to the citruses. And it's quite interesting as well because we tend to think of vanilla as a classic like wintry, cozy, ambery note. And it is, but if you have problems with energy in winter and those things make you sad, reconsider vanilla. Okay, so we're gonna go on to some citrus notes now. And I'm gonna talk about grapefruit and yuzu. Citrus aroma in general gives you decreased negative emotions, which, hello, sister. We absolutely do need those during sad time. Negative emotions became less intense. The citrus aroma also increased physical activity, shortened response times, and um, also affected food choice. So out of a selection of food, subjects chose cheese less. So it made people avoid cheese, which around Christmas, I do like to reduce my cheese intake as much as possible because I'm a bit lactose intolerant. So if you are also a lactose intolerant girly who wants to save your stomach from the, the pull of cheeses during Christmas, Citrus is a good one to think about. So citrus has this overall uplifting, energizing kind of vibe to it. What you also need to know about citruses is that um, actually limonene, which is um, a chemical compound, is what contributes to higher alertness and citruses with lower limonene and higher linalool. Linalool, I don't really, that is such a weird word. So lin linalool, which is a key component in lavender, across the board, they're more relaxing. First, we're gonna talk about grapefruit, which has very, very, very high concentrations of limonene. One study found that um, grapefruit resulted in a 1.5 to 2.5 fold increase in relative sympathetic activity. Sympathetic activity, as I've mentioned in the past, relates to your fight or flight response. It relates to your body's kind of physical readiness, alertness. The uppers come with a little level of anxiety, right? Which is, you know, typical. The most interesting study I found, so Kawai found that grapefruit increases energy, but it also decreases the stress hormone cortisol. So the activation of sympathetic nerve activity with fragrance inhalation without an increase in stress hormone may be one of the mechanisms involved in the positive effects and refreshment of aromatherapy in humans. So you have the activation of muscles and nerve activity, and you have this kind of like energy and alertness, but it's it's without stress. It's without cortisol. Cortisol is a very effective way of giving yourself energy, but it also causes you stress and anxiety. And when you're overstressed, you go into this kind of overdrive mode where you're just sort of, you know, on the warpath and you're getting things done, but you're so stressed and you're going to have a crash out. That's how I feel anyway. So perfumes. It's got to be Aqua Allegoria Pompalune from Guerlain. What a fantastic grapefruit. Also, Joe Malone has a grapefruit cologne. They are great fragrances and you can get a nice little travel size because as we know, it's not about big bottles anymore, not in 2025. In terms of more expensive perfumes, I also really adore Bitter Splash from Dries van Noten, which is a combination of a pomelo accord and leather. So the pomelo is a cross hybrid, I believe, of sweet orange and grapefruit. It smells very similar to grapefruit and actually the leather base is very like rough textured and very kind of like sparkly and bright so you get some of that sparkly grapefruitness even in the dry down and it has really really good longevity. Also leather and grapefruit is such a 
fantastic combination. There was a Zara leather grapefruit called Leather Jardin a few years ago, I think. That was actually made by Joe Malone as well. So let's go on to Yuzu. Yuzu is quite an uncommon note, but I wanted to mention it because it has some interesting impacts on sleep and relaxation. And it's a nice way to diversify your citruses. So as I mentioned above, Yuzu also has a high concentration of limonene. So it's nice and fresh and energizing. One study found that an inpatient group who inhaled a yuzu aroma fell asleep more easily on the night of an operation and woke up feeling better compared with the control group. Another study found that seven minute inhalation of yuzu fragrance significantly decreased subscores of anger, hostility and fatigue and increased vigor. Yuzu interacts to decrease sympathetic nerve activity, which modulates the cluster of negative psychoemotional symptoms. Even though it has high limonene, in this study it's showing that yuzu decreases sympathetic nerve activity. Similar to grapefruit, it doesn't create those kind of like stress effects, right? This is not the same, this is not what this study is saying, but it's similar. In addition, inhalation of aromatic yuzu oil significantly decreased total mood disturbance as long as 30 minutes after the aroma simulation. So it alleviates negative emotional stress. One other study found that yuzu alleviated premenstrual emotional symptoms. 10 minute inhalation of yuzu decreased tension, anxiety, and hostility and fatigue, which are common premenstrual symptoms together with a total mood disturbance as long as 35 minutes after the aroma simulation. So if that's something that you are dealing Dealing with at the moment in addition to seasonal affective disorder, yuzu is going to have that effect as well. Another thing, interestingly, because we've spoken about lavender as well, these effects for premenstrual stress did not differ from those effects of lavender. That's interesting that here, lavender and yuzu are actually very, very similar. They have very, very similar effects. Combine those lavenders and citruses, right? Um, so let's talk about some perfumes. So a real classic and one of my favorite yuzu perfumes is um, Isimiyaki's Poor Om original. It includes notes of yuzu and grapefruit plus a bit of mandarin. It's kind of crazy how it was released in the mid 90s, way before this perfume craze was happening. And Isimiyaki did not need to snap so hard with this fragrance. We were so spoiled and it was everywhere. And I think we took it for granted, but it's just so, so, so good. These kind of like fresh mouth-watering citruses, herbs in the background, that marina chord. It really just hits every single time. It gives you that like uplifting, you know. In the 90s, we were getting unisex, watery, floral, fruity, freshies, jeans but no top, black background, long hair, you know, that kind of vibe. It's just such an outstanding, timeless fragrance. Diptyque also has a yuzu solar floor called Oyedo. It's one of the only yuzu solar floors that I know. There's also a Galan Aqua Allegoria, which is heavier on the yuzu and lighter on the oud. The yuzu is the star of that, right? We are going to go on to peppermint. So peppermint has been found to reduce daytime sleepiness. One study also found that external application of peppermint extract raised the pain threshold in humans. It was effective on perceived physical workload, temporal workload, effort, and anxiety. So peppermint aroma not only reduces sleepiness, but it actually makes you feel better about your physical workload or energy expended because it raises your pain threshold, which Yes, I need my pain threshold raised a lot. I don't know if this is psychic pain. This looks like it's physical pain, sorry. If I could have a little bit of an increase with that, that'd be like really amazing. So peppermint, again, it's a note used in classic fougeres. One really classic peppermint fragrance that I love is Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mal. That's a fougere as well. So there are other notes, obviously geranium duh, and tonka. Diptyque also has a mint fougere which contains geranium and rose and patchouli similar to the Frederick Mal. If you're looking for something on the more affordable side a really classic minty citrus is Elizabeth Arden's green tea which one of my friends absolutely adores. It has a pronounced mint note there's also a yuzu version if you want to combine notes. I want to go over ylang ylang so this is quite an interesting one very uncommon for a kind of winter scent. Ylang Ylang in one study is found to decrease blood pressure and increase skin temperature. So it's actually having warming effects, which is interesting. But again, makes sense. It's a solar note. It's a warming note as well. 
And even though seasonal depression is mostly related to light, obviously cold is something that we're gonna have to deal with as well. It doesn't help when we're cold, right? So you can use Ylang Ylang to warm yourself up. Ylang Ylang oil causes people to rate themselves more calm and more relaxed. So Ylang Ylang oil could cause relief of depression and stress in humans. It's a kind of stress and depression relief. Perfect for the seasonal sads. It's weird because we're used to wearing like cozy, base note, ambery, perfumes in winter you know it sounds obvious to say but if you want to deal with your seasonal depression wear your summery perfumes wear them inside finally there is a study that compares ylang ylang to peppermint so in this study peppermint enhanced memory whereas ylang ylang impaired it and lengthened processing speed and peppermint increased alertness and ylang ylang decreased it so ylang ylang is a kind of zone out kind of note here it looks like and if you want to have your memory impaired if you're a girly that just wants to forget some of those traumas are lingering and you just need to erase your memory clean slate <laughs> i'm kidding now look at some ylang ylang perfumes and read this article as well so let's look at some ylang ylang perfumes so there's le labo's ylang 49 which is more of a sheep it's a bit more mossy a bit more spicy my personal favorite is omwelly by diptyque the ylang ylang is front and center it's very banana-y everything else is supporting cast even though there are notes of like vetiver and ginger and the ylang ylang is really the star it's a very 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 rich it's very kind of like crystal clear if you need to zone out then for the small price of 135 pounds Ohm Hurley by Diptyque will take you there. Yeah, let's go on. So the last note I wanted to mention is ginger. A study found that ginger increases feelings of physical warmth and comfortable warmth. Again, this shouldn't really be a surprise. We know that drinking ginger, consuming ginger is warming, but it's interesting to see it replicated in scent. Um, dry ginger scent is most effective in low temperature environments significantly increasing both TSV thermal sensation votes. So these assess how a person has a perception of their own heat. So people are perceiving themselves as getting warmer when they smell ginger and TCV. TCV means thermal comfort votes. So it's a comfortable heat. So you perceive yourself as getting warmer and more comfortably warm. The study says that these effects were not reflected in skin temperature, respiratory rate or heart rate. So we don't know if it's actually causing your body to get warmer or just perceptions. Either way, if you want to feel more comfortably warm, smell some ginger. So one of my favorite ginger perfumes at the moment, and I'll actually just show you this little bottle, is um, Berenia Intense by Hermes. So the original Berenia that was released last year has notes of Miracle Berry in the top, which is a kind of bergamotty, grapefruity note. It's very, very icy white kind of pure white super 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 shrill metallic top note that's really gorgeous the heart is ginger lily and the base is this kind of patchouli oaky kind of rough sort of leathery base so with the intense version the top note is gone the ginger lily effect is much richer much darker much more sparkly it's this really really gorgeous actual ginger record this gorgeous little bottle, which by the way, gives me so much serotonin just to see this. So of course you could go for something else, more directly gingery, like Oh Ginger from Hermes. And actually Diptyque Omweli has notes of ginger as well with the Ylang Ylang. So that's something to bear in mind as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, please let me know what you think about this. If there are any other perfumes that you would suggest, any other notes of perfumes that you like to wear for seasonal affective disorder, anything else that helps your symptoms. Um, this is not an exhaustive review. This is just some of the, the greatest hits for you. So if you're interested in more of these mental health and perfumes, this is part of a series. So you could go and watch the other videos that I've created in this series that I will link and that you can find on my channel. But yes, thank you again for watching this video. I hope you are managing to stay happy and healthy during sad season. And on that note, I want to say again, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.